Hello traders. Today we are going to look for crash 1000. So if you look at daily time frame, you see this level. This level here, uh, market can reverse here because uh, once you see the price action, uh, the last month, once you are in a daily time frame, you get this uh, monthly range, this period is separated. It means this gaps is monthly, monthly, monthly range. So, uh, previous uh, months, the high of the previous month is here, it's somewhere here, this level here. This is the high of, uh, this is the highest point where the market moved it. Uh, last time uh, for for last time so the 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 price action uh, for the previous month is this one in this gap here so the highest point is this one so when you look at this uh, this month they created uh, this high here then they come down they retest here they they come up again and they form a new high this one so what you need to to focus you need to focus at this level you need to focus at this level so because once you see the market is pushing like this they create high then they came down then they came up again to test that zone it means if if they you need to ask yourself why they didn't continue here to push up to to push up the the and maybe to to do this this price action because they create this high they came up to test it they break it but once they come to retest at the low at the lower time frame they fail to uh, this this level fell to hold the market, so they break it again. So if if the th they if this uh, pair was continue going high to lower time frame, they they, they could uh, uh, retest this zone and do this this continuation. But they fail. Once they come to to retest this zone to lower time frame, they continue to push. To, to 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 push down like this so what you need to to what you need to to do here we need to see a retracement because remember they break this level again after the first time they break once they come to retest they fail to to show us the rejection so they break it again so you need to wait for a retest again like this then they will continue they will come up here they will come up to this zone this buffer zone to this zone here so once they come to retest here this zone it means uh, they form a head and shoulder pattern so because they break this zone and they play below this zone at lower time frame. So that's why I send the setup at uh, H4 time frame. Remember, so what I note here is maybe the price action uh, of the for this uh, for this started months for this started month maybe this is the they form the high high of the month so always if they want to go down they always form a high if they want to go up they always form a low in order to go up so this the for for price action of uh, here w once you see this at a daily time frame so maybe they create this this pattern m pattern so at least you need to sell up to to this zone near to this uh, neck 
also this will be if you get the entry here <laughs> you can hold it once they reach here maybe you break you you break even or you lock profit because there is a high probability this this market to to continue to push down more and more so only on on only so in 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 as I, as I, I i show you here in the data frame they create this m formation so but to other lot time frame like h4 here where i send the setup uh, to sell up to here they create another there is another pattern here which pattern i see it in shoulder pattern why once i combine this this range for range of uh, high so once you are in h4 you get also uh, a weekly range so daily range weekly range they tell me the same thing that the market need to sell so this is a weekly range because this is the highest point this one this this point is the highest point of the last week this this is the highest point so the psychology of here so at a uh, i mean weekly range this is the highest point of the last week this one so so last week the price action uh, of last week uh, the this one this is the price action to this this one so here they form a law you see they create a law then they go up they create this uh, high here they detest it they come here they go up they f make a fake breakout this is the confirmation candle here engulfing candle this candle is engulfing candle because it is engulfing the previous candle so the price action of uh, here because as i show you in a daily time frame in a monthly range they come they create this side they come they retest here they make fake breakout then they come they come down so they break this level again they break this level again so the plus there is a confirmation candle here. it means this engulfing candle it shows us there is a selling pressure here so what i was waiting yesterday because yesterday i saw they break break this level like this they, here so what i was waiting is for them to retest this level so now they they come at this morning i wake up i saw them they they, they come up to this level and retest so this is the retracement so they break they retest so this is a head this is whatever but for me you can say maybe this is a m pattern whatever but price action is telling me this is a head and shoulder pattern so and the and the here and this from from this uh, range this week you see this this gap here last week end up here somewhere here at this end of here so this week is starting here so the psychology of this week see what they do they do push they make it a correction or a exhaustion so there is high probability of this market to come to come down so either you can put a pending order i always use a, a most of the time a pending order like here i put a sell sell stop here even if you take a fib for this push up to here you see at 61 at 61 why at 61 here around here at 61 because if you want to use also this uh, fibonacci tool you don't need to use them uh, uh, as them you need to combine also the price action why they retest at 61 not at sometimes they retest at 30 80 20 70 80 point blah blah sometime 100 uh, percent retracement but why here because of this price action once you look at the previous 
uh, market structure. There is a level here. That's why they, 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 even the Fibonacci is showing you uh, at this level. So it is because of price action. This, most of the people, they think that maybe a FIB tool is, uh, the market respect the FIB tool, but no. The, the FIB tool respect the market, the price action. So here at 61 there it is. So this market that is they, they will come they will come up to up to here. You see, you come up to here. So once you go to this uh, so weekly range now this is a uh, uh, daily range h1 below time frame h, 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 h4 once you are in h1 15 minutes 30 minutes always you get the daily range so the same so daily range here we see they create this high this is the highest point they create so once you combine with this price action i i, I show you uh, from weekly monthly range you see that the the, the, the market will push up to, up to here up to this buffer zone so once they reach here you can break even or you can lock here but what i see they will come up to here at a higher time frame they will come up to they will drop up to this zone so only here what i, I want to see uh, in a daily range in h1 i need to see a confirmation candle if, if the this candle maybe will close as a engulfing candle i will enter manually or i will set a pending order as i tell, as I tell you in h1 so so here remember in h4 this pin shows us there is a rejection but uh, the confirmation so if you want to 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 execute the to get the entry either you can set a pending order or you need to uh, to wait uh, confirmation in h1 because in h1 uh, for me in h uh, h1 time frame this pin shows me there is a pin only shows you that uh, the momentum of maybe buyer they they starting decreasing but maybe seller they they need to take the control of the market but they are not yet taking the control so most of the time they do some manipulation once you see it is sometime you see penny is happening then it, the market is pushing like here this pin the market is pushing because it is closing as a pin for, for, for seller. But here, this pin, but there is still uh, like buyers. So always once the pin is closing, you need to, to confirm also at a higher time frame. See what they do. So here, if this candle is closing, is closing as an engulfing candle, because it will be engulfing this previous like one, two, three, three candle. I know that the, the, the seller now they start uh, they, 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 they start controlling the market. They start controlling the market. So I need confirmation at H1 and also I will prove at the higher time frame which is four. So automatically even in H4 time frame you will see that there is a confirmation confirmation candle so what you need is to to be patient to wait here this candle to close H4 and H1 so I wait first this candle to close this engulfing candle at a, I mean at H1 so as this candle is closing I know a new candle once it is starting opening because this will be this engulfing engulfing is showing us there is a push to lower time frame 
add a lot time frame maybe five minutes see 30 minutes there is a push of 15 minutes or five minutes one minute there is a strong push so this new candle for each one if let's say this candle is closing like this now but it is not yet closing so we need to wait for this candle to close so once there is a push like this if lower time frame uh, maybe candle is closing like this and nothing candle it means we know that there is a push to lower time frame so we need to wait for 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 the market always pushing and taking a breath so push exhaustion or push in the correction you can say push and correction push and the exhaustion whatever so i know uh, this new candle will open to lower time frame the market will do like a correction corrective wave then they will they will continue to push so here now i can i can i can i, I can take a, my trade so uh, to 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 h1 what you will see you will see that maybe let's say if the candle is closing here it opens here it goes up then it rejects somewhere it leaves a week it create a week then it will start dropping down so once you see it leave a week and is starting the body the body of that uh, candle is starting growing going going down say so you can also enter and automatically at each four time frame you will see a also a, a, a confirmation a strong uh, momentum you will see a strong momentum even if we H4 for a candle will not be yet clo close so this is the setup for crash 1000 index which i send to to the group, the setups.